to begin with, we're going to show the basics of how we would make a square. And then we're going to show how we can make a loop to make the square. Because yeah. we're lazy, aren't we? We're lazy at this. Yeah, we're really lazy. <laughs> cool. So let's go. So what do we do to make a normal square? To begin so, with, we're going to have to... So first we're going to go... Our, um, F, D, 100, or any number to make it bigger or smaller. Then we're going to go... R, T, um, 90, so it turns 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. Which is just like a corner, isn't it? And then we're going to repeat that four times. So FD. 100. And oh, then, this is a lot of work. I know. If only that was a quicker way. <laughs> exactly right. Lucky Daddy's quick at typing. Right, let's hit that. Oh, cool. So we have got our square because we did it yeah. four times. But we were doing exactly the same thing four times, weren't yeah. we? And that isn't that fun, is it? No, no. So we're going to find a quicker way to do this. So we're going to do a loop, aren't yeah. we? Okay. So the code for a loop, I'm going to first of all just type CS. The only reason we're doing that is so it clears the previous square we had. But we'll just do that on that line. We're going to write a loop. Don't do that when you're drawing. You don't have to do that, no. No. So the bit that we want to do four times is FD 100. Yeah. And then RT, RT 90. 90. And then this bit inside these square brackets tells us what we want the loop to do. So we start with the letter I and we'll explain that later. Yeah. And then we just basically say we want to go from one to... Um, in for a square, we want to go from one to... Four. To four. And we also just need to say that we're going to go up one each time. Yeah. So it will start off with one. And then it will become two, and then it will it'll become, become three, and then four, and then five. Oh, will it go to five though? No. Not in this case, what because what do we tell it to stop at? We told it told it to stop at four. Cool. So that's really good. So it just goes from one to four, which means it will do this job four times. Let's just give that a go. It's going to be a bit underwhelming. Oh, we made a mistake. Let's go and find out what we did wrong. Ah, oh, we forgot to put the keyword at the beginning. What was it, Lily? Do you remember? Four. Four. Right, let's try that again. Ta-da! So that's a nice, lazy way. There's the code again to draw a square without having to write this four times. Now, we were thinking next it would be cool to do a spiral, wouldn't yeah. it? So we were thinking we could come up, but rather than just go up 100, we would go up... 101. Yeah. And then 102. So we'd go... 103. And then 104. And then and it would keep going bigger and, and bigger yeah. and bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, and to do that, we use we need to have a variable. Do you remember which part of this is the variable, Lily? The variable is the four? Mm, not quite. It's the... I. The I. And that's the bit that changes each time around the loop. Yeah. So the first time around the loop, I equals... One. One. And then because we're adding on one each time, the next time around the loop, I equals... Two. And the next time around, it equals... Three. Four. Five, etc. Oh, it never gets to five because we'd say stop at four. Or if we make it stop at maybe another number. Yeah, okay, so let's make it stop when it gets to a hundred. Yeah. Okay. Now, at the moment, that's not going to do very much because it's always just going to go around a hundred times, but it's still going to be drawing the same square because it's not gone any different. Yeah. But we were thinking about using the I that goes up each time to change the forward. So we were going to do 100 plus um, one. Well, well, I, yeah, because I. I equals one. Yeah. And then the second time round, I will equal... Two. And then it will equal... Three. So actually, the first time round, it'll go forward 100 plus one, which would be... Um, 100 plus one is 101. Then it'll be 100 plus... Two. Then 100 plus... Three. So let's go and see what that does, shall we? Whoa! But you can see it just kind of looks like a really um, thick square, doesn't it? It does. So if we so, wanted it to be not just going one further each time, we wanted the eye to change by more than one each time yeah. so that we were adding on more. What would we have to change in here, Lily? We would have to change the um, one. This one here? Yeah, this one here to maybe a four or something. Okay, so actually, rather than be 101 and then 102, it'll, it'll be, be 101 and then 105. 
and then 109. Yeah, 109. yeah cool. All right, let's run that. Well, hey, very cool. And then we can obviously play around with those numbers to make it go yeah. further by changing this. Make the gaps wider apart by yeah. changing that. Um, or we can start to do some really cool patterns here. Yeah, we could start to do some patterns, couldn't we? And let's just make that 200 and see what happens. So if we're not turning by 90 each time and we're doing It'll... a bit of a random number, we can start to get some cool patterns. Yeah. That's our lesson. Bye.